Hey guys, Alex from Online Tarot here with a new pick a card and today we're checking will your person be back to you so will he or she be back into your life and Suri is back here <laughs> okay you know her she loves to be in the video uh, well we um, I will be checking your situation in the beginning of the pile and if it doesn't resonate please choose another pile or another reading I do have similar readings on my channel and most of them are timeless so um, for pile number one we have this dragonfly for pile number two we have a black kitty and for pile number three we have an owl in an owl kind of double O. so choose your trinket choose your pile and i will see you in timestamps you can find them and all the necessary information about how to get a personal reading with me down below under the video in the description box see you in a second with pile number one hey those who chose pile number one with this dragonfly here it is let's see so we will start with checking your situation with this person for you to know if this is your message or not your message if the beginning of the pile doesn't resonate it's simply not your message please choose another pile or another reading give me a second i need some more light okay so what we have here is the seven of cups the page of cups the tower the six of pentacles the nine of pentacles and the nine of wands uh -oh. okay um what i see here is that you had a situationship uh, or maybe friends with benefits situation it was a situation and you didn't know what's going on so what's waiting for you next so what's coming and it's most likely that you asked to clarify the situation for you so will will it turn into something more serious so what uh, the person if the person has some plans for this relationship something like this and they broke it off so you asked about where are we going with this and they broke it off and they said like well actually like i work alone or i'm a lone wolf i'm just kind of like this you know baby i'm here today and the next day i'm somewhere else something like this along those lines and they were like mm, i'm actually i'm single and i will not be in a, in a relationship so they pushed you away okay if this resonates let's see will this person will he or she be back into your life will they be back into your life yes they will <clears throat> this person will be back into your life uh, after a long time of no communication and they will return into your life when you are at your strongest kind of either when you um, will be awarded something some of you will be receiving some kind of awards others they you will be just I don't know getting a promotion something like this during a moment of celebration or success this person will be back mm -hmm. they will return on their own so um and i would i have to say it will be years after separation so if you've been in separation for years already maybe um it's coming soon but for most of you it's after a long time a long time with the temperance with the knight of pentacles and kind of uh, there is one more aspect here it's when you're going to release the idea that this is your soulmate or twin flame or something like this and when you will be really really like doing really well doing really good with your life they will resurface they will kind of either they will be keeping an eye on you and your social media and they're going to see it mm, or they're going to be <laughs> drawn back like kind of feel the pool but they are going to resurface at the moment of your celebration celebration when you will be celebrating life celebrating your success and feeling really good 
not waiting for them anymore. Let's see if we can get um, a more a, a, kind of the time frame because for now um, I feel like it's long time. Can we get one? Maybe even they will show up uh, at the celebration, like if at the moment where you will be, when you will be getting the award or something like this. It's definitely not near future, not near future. It will be a longer future, a longer time frame. This person is going to kind of sneak back into your life. For some of you, um, they will be back after you are happily married. And they're gonna, um, how to say, it feels like this person, yeah, this person, um, they cannot offer you equal give and take, but it's like they're coming uh, to you to tell you that they love you and offering you secret love anyway. It's offering secret love and telling how much they missed you, how much they're sorry about what they did. But it's about three to four years after the breakup. When either you are getting a promotion or celebrating your marriage or something like this, right after some big, big celebration. And they will be telling you how sorry they were and they didn't understand, but they're going to offer you secret love. So they're not going to offer you anything like like what you need okay let's ask anything else plan number one needs to know about what they will be offering you It's definitely you. Um, mm -hmm. Interesting. Again, sneaking back. I don't. I cannot get their mm, their true intentions, but they are not very nice. And again, because it's like. They can't stand your happiness almost. They are going to resurface during the happy, happy times of your life. And they're going to tell you that you are their first love, that you are everything and they were so wrong and so on and so forth. Either when you are married or again, when you go, are very successful because they can't stand it. It's like they almost want you to lose it lose your happiness they can't stand your happiness and they will not be coming to you with honest um intentions so be careful with this person they will be back at the happiest moment of your life to steal this moment from you yeah weird connection kind of but this is what we got here so guys and girls this is what i have for you today let me know what you think about this um reading and if you want to make sure about your personal situation the information how to get a personal reading with me uh is down below in the description box so uh we're moving to pile number two now hey those who chose pile number two with this black kitty cat let's see we're checking your situation first so, uh, if the beginning of the pile doesn't resonate, it's simply not your message. Please choose another pile or another reading. I do have similar readings like this. Most of them are timeless. So, what we have here is the shadow side, the page of pentacles. Mm, this is the devil card here. Um, the strength, the king of pentacles, the world, and the eight of cups. Um, pile number two, this is an on and off situation. And it is kind of a karmic lesson for you. I don't know if you see it as a karmic lesson or not. Most likely you don't see it this way. 
you may call it a twin flame or whatever but it's a karmic lesson here and it's a karmic lesson for you to acquire strength and to understand your value is to release and to let go but this has been on and off mm. and most likely it's a toxic in some way situation it's either your person is drinking or they're using some substances or they may be even abusing you because i feel like it's a very big situation very big lesson and you are somehow explaining to yourself that this is, um, well, he is my soulmate or she is my soulmate. I have to help them. I have to do this, this, this and that. But, well, if you are interested, I do have a video on my channel, um, an honest talk about Twin Flames and the com concept of the one. Check it out. There is some, some information to consider. Some thoughts I shared with people because sometimes... <laughs> rather often more often than not people are calling um soulmate or twin flame very complex and even toxic relationships sometimes fantasy relationships sometimes abusive relationships sometimes um a relationship that doesn't really exist and they're getting stuck because of it getting stuck for years and losing years of their life so it's a lesson for you it's a very serious karmic lesson of self-worth and uh, strength if you're going to release it or not so uh, this person has been away has been back it, it's been on and off for years for most of you part number two so let's see will they be back to you this time again They will but again i'm getting more of your energy they will um they will be back but the thing here is that you need to shift your focus in the way let not, not why this person is coming back not why they're not letting me go well they haven't chained you down right you're not in their best basement they haven't chained you to to their radiator or something like this you are free to choose as well uh, but at the same time you are not choosing because you are allowing them to choose for you it's like they're coming back and you're asking like why they are back why this person is not letting me go but the thing is that you are not letting them go it's not them who are not letting you go you are not letting them go you are to choose you you call it spiritual love or some kind of like this and you are not willing to let go you are incapable of letting go the past even though it's a torture for you and uh, until you choose to see it for what it is until you change your perspective and see that this person is having fun with you nothing else you will not be able to move on but this is your choice and it will be your choice to stay and allow them to be back or or to leave but they will be back can we get when when will this person be back soon within the next month and they're gonna make you cry again And guys, again, it's up to you. It's up to you to choose different. Up to you to choose another path, another another way, uh, another kind of living. Because it's your choice to cut the thread or not to cut the thread. If you do it, your life will change and it will be long-term big changes. If you don't, so it's a big, big again with the judgment here. It's a big karmic lesson for you. Very big one. What you're going to choose. Who you want to be. What kind of love you want to have. This person will always do what they want to do. Uh, they're going to follow their momentary wishes, momentary desires. It's not about them, but it's about what you are going to choose. So let's see uh, what you need to know. Pile number three. Oh, sorry, pile number two. 
what you need to know about the situation. You feel like you are not worthy if, if they're not with you, if you're not having them, if they're not paying attention to you. So you have attached your worth to having them in your life and um, they're using it. They're using it to, to make you kind of devalue you, maybe help you feel wor worthless, something like this. But it's up to you what you think you're worth. If you think, if you believe that you are worthy of toxic connection, somebody using you, oh, okay, this is what you're gonna get. But if you believe otherwise, you can change two of one. This is again, this is about choose choice. What you choose, you are worthy of. You need to consider this. Think about it. Think about it. And if you consider. If you decide that you are worthy of true love, you will find it because for now you are, mm, you have abandonment issue. You're afraid to be left alone. You believe that if you don't have this person in your life, you are worthless. But it's not true. We attract not what we are, but what we think we are. What you believe is normal. What you believe you're worthy of, this you will attract. So if deep down inside you believe that you are worthless and you need to prove you need proof from people outside proof of your worth you will be attracting those people who will make you see that you are worthless they will confirm this theory for you that, that's why we saw this this is a lesson for you of self-worth of you to see your worth for you to have this strength inside without people confirming your worth for you all the time so if you allow yourself to believe in that allow yourself to shine there is love waiting for you out there real love because for now this is what you're going through this is not about love this is about self-torture okay uh, guys poll number two this is what i have for you today um let me know what you think about this reading and if you want to make sure about your personal situation the information how to get a personal reading with me is down below in the description box and um hope to talk to you soon and we're moving to pile number three now hey those who chose pile number three with this double owl here let's see we're going to check your situation first mm -hmm. For you to know if this is your message or not your message so if the beginning of the pub being what's wrong with this word oh sorry i don't know why i have forgotten how to pronounce it so if the beginning of the pile doesn't make sense to you it doesn't resonate with you it's simply not your message so what we have here is the knight of wands the hermit the knight of pentacles the six of swords the fool and mm, the wheel of fortune so again this um your relationship started as um something casual and it started a while ago and you were hoping that with time this person will offer you more than just sex but but they moved on somewhere and it seems like they may have physic either during the quarantine or something you've separated and they kind of have quietly slipped away this is what i'm getting kind of almost disappeared maybe even um blocked you or ghosted you like you're hoping that there will be but for some of you you're, you are in touch but they have turned it into kind of friendship like connection or just they're telling you that they cannot come to come back or there is um, kind of there are some kind of obstacles as they present it like either because of the uh, world situation with the virus or because of other things for some of you they might have moved back to their country and they've been here for a while where you are and they moved back and you're hoping for a new beginning a new beginning um, when they are going to offer you something more meaningful because for some of you you are in touch with them you are in touch with them but they're gonna keep in, keep telling you that they cannot come for some reason 
Okay, let's see. Will they be back to you? Will they be back into your life? Yes, they will. They will be back. Okay. They will be back, but they're going to... Mm, they will be back, but not for a long time. They will go away again. They will go away again. And again, the Six of Swords. The six, they will go away again, and there will be distance again. So it seems like they're going to come either for a business trip or for a holiday. They will come to enjoy you again. This is what I'm getting. And they're going to leave you again. And they, they're, they're going to move their distance again. This is a person who comes and goes as they please. And for some of you, I don't even see the distance. They can tell you that there is distance, but not necessarily. They come and go as they please. Hmm. Let's see when. Okay, today we're not going deep, we're just answering questions. Will they be back and when? They will be back. When? Can we get a time frame, please? Next year, most for most of you. I don't know when you're going to be watching for me. I'm getting the clear answer next year. Mm, within seven months. Seven. Six six or seven month time mostly like next year in the beginning of the next year so from uh, it's in the beginning of 2022 they will mm -hmm. but i don't know what they're telling you for some of you they are promising you something they're not going to keep the promise and when when you're going to tell them like but you've promised you've promised that they said like no i never did that so um plain and simple ghost lighting is coming be careful with the ten of swords with the eight of swords this person is going to leave you confused and feeling betrayed be careful with this person you are attracted to them you they are very hard for you uh but they are coming to enjoy you they're not coming to give you something. They're coming to enjoy you. And um, it may not be wise for you to believe them. Anything else that pal number three needs to know about this connection? Hmm. You cannot make them stop. You can. It feels like you're like... Uh, asking like what can i do to change their mind what can i do to not leave to make them not to make them say something you cannot mm -mm, sorry this person is not very honest and you you don't know what they have in mind they will not tell you what they have in mind they prefer control and they come and go as they please everything will be as they decide it's a very self-centered and very thoughtfully self-centered very thoughtfully selfish person most likely either a narcissist or a person who is um inclined to control everything this is either their way or the highway and you will never know the truth be careful it's not not a person who will give you honest direct answers they're gonna lie and they're going to explain it to themselves why they have to do it. Because they're always right for them in their reality. So uh, this is what I have for you, pal number three. Let me know what you think about this reading. And if you are in need of a personal one, uh, you know how to find me. Everything is under the video in the description box. Hope to talk to you soon. Bye.